tonight's family fortunes and tonight's families are Angie, Kath, Pat, Kirsty, and Mandy, the Pease family. And they're playing Keith, Bob, James, Brian, and David, the Thompson family. And here's your host, Les Dennis. for that lovely welcome and welcome to you to Family Fortunes. As usual, we've got two great families hoping to go all the way to our big money game and win £3,000. And if they find the top answers in that game, they also have a chance of winning this special prize. Yes, from the new high-tech plant at Swindon, this elegant and spacious two-litre family saloon. All right, you know the game. A um, hundred people have been surveyed in all our games, and in this first game, we're looking for the top seven answers. If you feel you have one of those answers, then press your buzzer immediately. We asked a hundred people to name something that is traditionally done at weddings. Mandy. You throw confetti. You throw confetti. It's there. Yes, well played. But there's a more popular one, Keith. Can you find it and maybe take control? Uh, cut the cake. Cut the cake. Let's have a look for cut the cake. It's there, but throw confetti is more popular. It's going to play, rejoin your family, and remember, no conferring. So, uh, Kirsty, what do you get up to in your spare time? Um, do you have any spare time? Yeah, I do. I like to go fishing. In yeah. the summer, I go off fishing most weekends. Yeah? What, do you, would you catch big fish? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> How big? That's about the biggest one I've caught. Is it? Yeah. You're doing really well then, aren't you, Kirsty? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Kirsty, what do you think? Something that is traditionally done at weddings? To give a horseshoe. To give a horseshoe. OK, yeah, you give a horseshoe. <coughs> Good thinking, but it isn't there, so we lose a life. Hi, Pat. Hi, Liz. And you, you, these are your two daughters? Yeah. You, you look, look, you look like sisters, don't you? <laughs> you. Yeah, <laughs> that's great. What do you get up to? You're, you're... I'm a school caretaker. Are you? Yeah. You don't look miserable enough to be a school <laughs> caretaker. I'm miserable nowadays. Don't you? No? 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 No. Are they good, the kids now? Yeah, very good. All right, Pat, what do you think? Something that is traditionally done at weddings? The bride walking down the aisle. The bride walks down the aisle. <laughs> two lives have gone. The Thompsons might get a chance to steal. All right, Kath, what do you think? Something that is traditionally done at weddings? Toast the bride and groom. Toast the bride and groom. <laughs> yes, the speeches <laughs> is the top answer. And you've got a prize as well. Steve, what have we got? Well, Kath, you can now take Pat with you on this health spa two-day break for two, located in a stately home at Horcross in the heart of rural Staffordshire. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Angie. Hi, Liz. You're the one with the laugh, aren't yeah. you? What do you do, Ange? I'm an auxiliary nurse and doubt patients at PGI Trust. Hospital. I, I trust you. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. What do you think then? Something that is traditionally done at weddings? Eat. Eat. Reception. Okay, you eat at weddings. <coughs> Good answer, but it's not, uh, not there. So, David. Toasts. Toasts we already had. Brian. Wedding rings. Wedding rings. Photographs. Photographs. Bob. Read, read the telegrams. Read the telegrams, Keith. Signing off the register. Signing of the register. You've got a few answers there. Which one are you going to go with? Uh, signing of the register. We're looking for the signing of the register. Yes. Well played. You got the first £66 in the bank. And the missing answers. Number six. The vows. Answer number five is... The photos. And answer number four, when we asked 100 people on something that is traditionally done at weddings, is... Throw the bouquet. You know, they reckon that when, when a bride enters the church, she sees the aisle, then she sees the altar, and then she sees the hymn book. And those words go through her head. I'll alter him. <laughs> Let's play on. <laughs> Bob and Kirsty. Top six answers in this second game. Uh, we asked 100 people to name something that might get caught in a revolving door. <laughs> <laughs> Um, handbags. Handbag. You might catch your handbag in a revolving door. Let's have a look. Yes, it's answer number five. Bob. You here? You here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> your hair could get caught. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it was a Scottish accent. I thought you said you're here. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> you want your hair? Yeah. <coughs> no. So, um, what you've got? You've got control, Kirsty. What yeah, are you going to do? Play. You're going to play. Rejoin your family and no conferring. But of course. 
uh, the Thompsons think of some answers. Pat, what do you think? Uh, your foot. You might catch your foot in a revolving door. Foot. <coughs> no, so we lost a life. All right, Kath. All right. <laughs> your coat. I was going to ask you what you do then. <laughs> I thought I'd say, hello, Kath, what do you do? I'm a nurse. You're a nurse as well? Yes. Yeah, enjoy that? Yeah, it's fabulous. Yeah, do you get any time for holidays then? Or? We we'll get 32 days a year. Oh, great, you sound really happy about that. <laughs> I must come to your hospital and get cheered up. <laughs> All right, something that you might find, or you might get caught in a revolving door. Your coat. <laughs> your, your coat. Your coat. Yes, it's a top answer. Well played. <laughs> Angie. Your dress. All right. Your dress. <laughs> yes, a skirt or dress. Seven people agreed with you, and you get a prize as well. Oh, lovely. Steve. Well, Angie, your husband Bill will be delighted. You've won a candlelit dinner for two at the restaurant of your choice. Woo! Great. Thank you. How's that? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you like? Do you like going out? Oh, definitely. A lot yeah. of places to eat out in Pontefract. Yeah, two. No. <laughs> two. <laughs> so, Kat, are you a ventriloquist? <laughs> What's going on here? Chinese. Are you working there with your foot? Chinese and Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy. Right, something. Um, an umbrella. All right, let's have a look for an umbrella. <laughs> yes, it's over number two. <laughs> two answers to find, Kirsty. An arm. An arm, you might catch your arm in a revolving door. <coughs> Two lives have gone, the Thompsons might nick in. Pat. Your skirts, your skirts. We've already got that dress or skirt, so I think the time yeah. might run out. Pass, yeah. yeah, time is up, so the three lives are gone. The lads get a chance to steal again. David. Walking stick. Your walking stick. A walking stick, Brian. A dog. Dog. Parking. <laughs> <laughs> your dog. <laughs> Do you know the letters we're going to have now? <laughs> <laughs> James? A parcel. A parcel with a Chil dog in it. Pa pa <laughs> Your children. Your children. children. It's getting worse. <laughs> Keith. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> um, I would say a walking stick. We're looking for a walking stick. <laughs> no, so the peas are back in the game. Well played. The missing answers. Number four is a scarf. Answer number three on something that might get caught in a revolving door is... <laughs> luggage or parcel, which we had down there. No dogs. Let's play on. <laughs> Pat, me, James. Hi, James. OK, top seven answers. We asked 100 people to name a colloquial phrase for goodbye. James. Cheerio. Cheerio. It's there, but there are two more popular ones. Pat. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah, All right, we're looking for just uh, as uh, was it Harry Corbett used to say with Sooty, bye bye everybody, <laughs> bye bye, bye bye. <laughs> yes, it's there, but Cheerio's more popular. What are you going to do? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, rejoin your family and no conferring the Thompsons. Right then, Brian, that's a great shirt. Are you, are you here to play the game or are you a test card? It's a test card. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Brian? Um, a uh, fruit machine mechanic. Yeah. I do handiwork like building sets like this. Building sets like this? Yeah. What do you think, Brian? Uh, bon voyage. Bon, bon voyage. All right, for uh, goodbye. Uh, bon voyage. <coughs> Don't think it's colloquial, is oh, it? Sorry, you know, sorry, yeah. That's what you need to know. A colloquial phrase for goodbye. David, yeah, what I do was, you do? I'm a pit and decker, yeah. Yeah, and you like fishing as well, don't you? I like, like a um, bit of fishing, yeah. yeah? Bit of fishing, you, yeah. You've got a bit of a fishing story, haven't you? I have, yeah. Uh, me, myself, Brian and Keith were out in the boat one day fishing. And we all fell asleep. We threw the ankle over at first and uh, we all fell asleep in the boat. We woke up, the beach was about that size. Um, the anchor rope was too short, never touched the bottom. And we just floated the rail. <laughs> then we couldn't get the engine started, we couldn't get back in again. So we were there for about two hours trying to get the engine started on the boat. <laughs> I was going to swim. What did he say? Great, <laughs> <laughs> right, David, what do you think? Tata. Tata, all right. Tata. Tata or Tara wins your prize. Steve. Well, David, I think you've been angling for this. You've won a fishing equipment voucher to the value of £150. Oh, <laughs> you could, could have done with a little string and a piece of... The hook and a bit of bread, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and an anchor. Keith? Uh, see ya. See ya. See ya. Tara, then. Tara. <laughs> see ya. See ya. OK, let's have a look for see ya. 
Yes, it's there. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Bob, you're an ice cream man, are you? Yes. Yeah. Do you ever run out? Um, not very often. No. No. So you don't have a cones hotline? <laughs> no. <laughs> cones hotline. What do you think? Uh, so long. So long. Yeah. Okay. So long. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two lives still intact. And two answers to find. So, James, what do you think? Uh, no. No? No. There goes that life, so we lose <coughs> two lives to you, Brian. Can we need something, an answer from you? Yeah. Nothing? Sorry, no. no, so all three lives have gone. We come back to the girls. Get in line, girls. Angie, get quickly. Lost. Get lost. Get lost. <laughs> bon voyage. Bon voyage. We already had it. It wasn't there. Or we... Bye, 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 bye. Bye, bye. We've already had. <laughs> Kirsty. Farewell. Farewell. Mandy? I think we'll go for farewell. All right. If farewell is one of the two missing answers, you have the money in the bank. If not, it goes to the Thompsons. We're looking for farewell to steal. <laughs> it isn't there, so the Thompsons, you win the money. <laughs> well played. So, we're going to reveal those missing answers. Answer number seven is... <laughs> Chow. Chow. I thought you said Kayao, then. <laughs> <laughs> and answer number four on a colloquial phrase for goodbye is... <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> All right. At this stage in the game, the halfway stage, the uh, Pease family have £72 in the bank and the Thompsons have £155 in the bank. Join us after the break when one of our families will be playing for £3,000 and possibly the car. We'll see you then. Which of our two families are going to go on to play for £3,000 in big money and possibly this lovely family saloon? Will it be the Thompson family from Edinburgh, who have won a fishing voucher and £155, or the Pease family from Castleford in West Yorkshire, who have won a health spa, dinner for two and £72? Let's see now as we play Double Money. <laughs> All right, Brian. Hi. Meet Kath. Hi, Hi. Right. Double money means just that. All the answers revealed are worth twice the price they were before the break. We asked 100 people, top five answers to find, to name something you have to do... Sorry, something you have to open your mouth to do. <laughs> Kath. Eat. Eat. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> top answer. Play. Going to play. Rejoin your family. No conferring, girls. Thompson's, think of some answers. Angie, what do you think? Drink. Drink. OK, let's have a look for... Open your mouth to drink. Yes, but it isn't there, so our life has gone. Mandy. Talk. You have to open your mouth to talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you've won a prize, Mandy, and Steve will tell us what that prize is. Yes, you'll be able to do a bit more filming of your amateur dramatics now. You've won this camcorder. Whoa. Oh, All right. Thank you. Thank you. Kirsty? Yawn. Yawn. Yeah. Okay, you ha have to open your mouth to yawn. Yeah, going well. <laughs> Two answers to find, Pat. Cry. We're looking for cry. <laughs> Two lives have gone. The Thompsons might steal. Kath, anything? Got an answer? Before the time's up? No. No, no, no really nothing's gone. come. So the three lives have gone, and we have a chance for the Thompsons to go through to big money. David. Visit the dentist. Visit the dentist. Brian. To laugh. To laugh. James. To... Sneeze. Sneeze, Bob. To kiss. To kiss. Keith? To kiss. All right. We're looking for to kiss. <laughs> it isn't there, so... <laughs> the girls. Let's have a look. Answer number five is... <laughs> to clean your teeth. And answer number three is... <laughs> to sing. You should have known about that, girls. <laughs> right, let's play on. <laughs> David and Angie. Right. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name a way of communicating over long distances. Angie. Telephone. Telephone. It's the top answer. Well played. What are you going to do? Check. Play. 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 Rejoin. No conferring. Mandy. Telegram. All right. We've got telephone. Now we're looking for a telegram. Good answer, but not there. Kirsty. Fax machine. By fax. 
Yes, the tenth number two, well played, Pat. I'll report letters. Letters. By letters, OK? By... by mail. <laughs> by letter is there. <laughs> Kath, find this missing answer and you're playing big money. 24-hour parcel post. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-four <laughs> 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 hour parcel post. <laughs> no two lives have gone, Angie. Pigeon. Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a pigeon. <laughs> Three lives have gone. The Thompsons get a chance to steal and go through to big money. David. TV. TV. Brian. Morse code. Morse code. TV. TV. Bob? Satellite. Satellite. Key? Satellite. All right. Which one are you going to go with? Uh, satellite. OK. If satellite is the missing answer, then you're playing big money. If not, it's the girls. We're looking for to play big money and possibly win the car. Satellite. Yes! <laughs> well played. Go through. Close contest, Mandy. Hard luck. And some smashing answers. You were great. You were great fun. You're going back to Castleford in West Yorkshire with a health spa, a dinner for two, a camcorder, £244, and we're sending by pigeon the fact that you're coming home before you get there. <laughs> Weren't they great? The Peas family. <laughs> Congratulations, Keith. Who's playing big money? Uh, myself and James. Keith and James, join me at the mic. Keith, you're playing first. James, go and put the headset on. We'll call you back when we're ready for you. Right, Keith, I'll just explain that you need 200 points between the two of you to win the £3,000. And on top of that, to get the car, you need, between the two of you, to find the five top answers. But you can't win the car unless you get the 200 points as well. Right, I'm going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer, and the time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Fine. Good luck. Can we have 15 seconds on the clock, please? Name something you see at a motorway service station. Uh, petrol. A sport in which people jump. Horse jumping. Something people drink in almost every country. Water. Something a, ner a nurse uses at work. Uh, watch. A part of the body beginning with the letter N. Knee. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. Um, nose. Oh, phew. Terry Ackie. How's your spelling? All right. <laughs> That's all right, I can understand it. <laughs> <laughs> right, first question, Se name something you see at the motorway service station. You said, petrol, our survey said, 32, yes. Top answer, it's flashing, that's what that means. 100% so far. A sport in which people jump. You said, horse jumping, our survey said, <coughs> nothing for that. Then I asked you to name something people drink in almost every country. You said, water, our survey said, <coughs> 39, another top answer. We got two, we got 71 towards the money. Something a nurse uses at work. You said a watch. Our survey said 25, we got 96. A part of the body beginning with the letter N. You said nose. Our survey said 46, 142. Great scoring, three top answers. You join your family with we'll four the board and bring James back. Keith has scored 142, and he's found three of the top answers towards the car, right? Yeah. So, if you can go through the 200 barrier and find those other missing answers, you're going to be driving home in that. OK? <laughs> Great. Right. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You have 20 seconds, and if you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear this sound, and I'll ask you for another answer. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've already had from Keith, and can I have 20 seconds on the clock? Good luck. We want you to win. Name something you see at a motorway service station. Petrol pumps. Something else. Press jump. A sport in which people jump. Long jump. Something people drink in almost every country. Water. Another. Beer. Something a nurse uses at work. Bandages. A part of the body beginning with the letter N. Nose. Another. Knuckles. No, that's cute. <laughs> OK. All right. Don't worry, yeah, okay. you did well. Yeah, yeah. So we need 58 for the money, and we need to find those other two top answers to win the car as well. First of all, I asked you to name something you see at the motorway service station. You said... Restaurant. Our survey said... 15. We've got 157. 
43 for the, for the money, and we still, we're still okay with the top answers for the car. A sport in which people jump. You said long jump. Our survey said 17. 17. It stopped flashing, so the car's out, but we're still going for the money. We, we need 26 for the money. The top answer there was high jump. I would have kept you in with the car. Never mind, we're going for the money. Something people drink in almost every country. You said beer has to be worth 26 or more to win £3,000. You said beer, our survey said... Seven. We've got 181, we need 19, and I think it's from this last answer. I asked you to name something a nurse uses at work. You said... Bandages. The top answer was th thermometer and would have given you 43. You said bandages, our survey said... Four. 185, what happened with the other, I think? I'll, I'll go through it anyway. You said a part of the body beginning with N. You said knuckles, which, well, nothing. You never know, though. People might have said it. It isn't there. We've got 185. We're going to double that. We add it to the money that you've already got, which gives you a Thompson family fortune of £713 plus the prizes. OK, you've had a good day? Right. Yeah. Right, come down, lads. We'll see you next week on Family Fortune. Thanks for watching. Bye.